Lift up the receiver, I'll make you a believer. No, he's not your own personal Jesus. He's the violator. And if he doesn't kill you today, he'll try it later. Today's action figure is the pizza eaten, heart ribbon, clown prince of hell. It's the Violator. For the uninitiated, the Violator is a major antagonist throughout the first hundred issues of Spawn and still appeared as a secondary antagonist through later issues. One of the five Flabiac brothers, I think that's how you pronounce it, he is a powerful demonic being and servant of Malabolgia. Again, I think that's how you pronounce it. Each of the brothers possess inhuman strength and invulnerability, as well as telepathic, regenerative, possessive, and shape-shifting abilities, which the Violator uses to become a 5'6 clown, and in the movie was played by John Leguizamo. The Violator, along with his brothers Vindicator, Vandalizer, Vaporizer, and Vacillator, little known fact, they have another brother called Vindizilator, he is the worst of all. The Violator is the eldest of the brothers and most prominently featured in the comics. So we're going to ignore the rest. As with most of the McFarlane ties I've had the pleasure of holding, the level of details are, to say the least, astounding. Just the, 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 the minute detail that they go into is brilliant. As a Marvel Legends fan, I'm always happy with the level of detail that we get in Marvel Legends, but... With McFarlane toys, you always seem to get just that little bit more. And something of the, of the size of this, which is roughly 7.5 inches tall, they can really go to town on all the details. The paint is, again, brilliant. Nothing to really pick apart. Across the board, it's a beautiful paint job. Nothing to criticise at all. As the figure... The figure itself has some wear and tear, but that's what you get with second-hand goods. One of the spikes on the back are broken off, but I'm not going to complain about that. I paid £4 for a brilliant figure. Side view, yeah! McFarlane ties win the detail battles, but obviously compared to my beloved Marvel Legends, they lose... they obviously lose the articulation battles. There's... There's some articulation, there's more articulation in the Violator than there was in the Spawn, by a huge margin. But, still, not that much, let's be honest. But, despite that, it's still great. But let's show you the articulation. First off, the mouth moves up and down. The arms move the shoulder, you can do a full 360, Hiya! it moves at the elbow and is covered in a soft plastic so you lose the joint almost completely, there's movement at the wrist, movement at the chest, it does have a, an up and down but it really doesn't stay. I'm not sure if that's just because it's second hand so it's been well used, but either way, you can go left and right, it's pretty good. The hips swivel, no movement in the knees, a little left and right in the ankle, and that's pretty much your whole shebang, other than an articulated finger on the left hand, which would be used, I'm guessing, to hold the heart accessory that it came with originally. And for a quick size comparison, here he is with the pre-Legends Daredevil and the Marvel Select Juggernaut. 